Where, where are you? You're in nine. You're in nine one six area code. Yeah. Okay. My name is Kelby Smith. Um, we have three ambassadors in California, and we're probably going to bring it to about five or six. You can send me an email at k. Dot Smith at Republic of the United States dot org. We have a, an event happening this coming Saturday in Visalia, California, which is the middle of California. Will you be able to get to meet meet a, uh, a group of people? And uh, send me an email, and I'll send you the information on the event, and uh, you can invite all your friends. Okay. Outstanding. Yeah, because we've got a great big group of people here. Well, not just in California. I got people all over the United States tuning in to you guys. So, anyways, thank you very much. Thank you for what thank you're you, doing. Sir. God bless you all. Woo! Thank you. Thank you, and God bless your friends as well in Canada, sir. Um, we're going to bring on uh, the next caller, area code 785. Go ahead. You have the floor. Yes, good evening. God bless you. God bless you. You too. We'll accept your blessing. Fantastic. Comes from a servant of the Almighty Yahweh. Well, that's good. Well, you, you're talking to some, too. Oh, definitely. There's no doubt about it. Hey, I'd like to check and see how you're doing physically, Tim. How's your health I'm going? Doing well. I'm doing well. We, uh, I have been spending a little bit of time when I had a chance in the star chamber, and it really has helped. Okay. Just in case you need any assistance with any help, I'm a natural path, and I've been traveling across the country for the last couple of years with medical missionary work, and uh, right. there isn't anything under the sun that God can't fix with the stuff that he's already put here. So I just it, want it, you to say reach out to Forrest Clark, representative of the Republic of Kansas. Well, God bless you, buddy. If you got something for blood pressure, that would help. Well, blood pressure is the only thing I can't get under tr control. I don't understand. I don't have any stress. I can help you with that, Tim. It's, it's easy. You know, with uh, blood pressure, that's really simple. Uh, remember our uh, associate, uh, Thomas Schultz? Uh, yes. he came and spent, He came and spent a couple weekends with me, and I got him on to a regimen, and he got off of his high blood pressure medication within uh, three weeks, and he'd been on it for 25 years. Well, good, good. So we'll we'll discuss that uh, a little bit later, but I just wanted to reach out to you, and, you know, I want to support you in any way I possibly can. Thank, thank you. God sir. bless you. We thank you for the call. Thank you betcha. Now, um... Oh, sir, I, I thought you were done. Hold on one second. Let me find that phone number. Hang on one second. I'll bring you back on. You know what? Press star six on your phone again. I'll find you in the queue. I'm going to bring on another uh, 801 area code. My apologies for disconnecting you. I thought you were done, sir. Go ahead, 801. Yes, this is Kurt in Utah. I have a question yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, about what you said earlier about uh, going to parties for elections. Um, I wanted to be sure I, I understood you correctly, that you wanted to go back to a party system in the, in the Republic for elections? Mm, not, not party system, no, sir. Okay, I must have I misunderstood you. No, sir, I don't, I don't have any intention of going to a party system, actually. Uh, I, I, I think America need, is divided enough. I think we need to do away with that stuff. Uh, okay. You have a house and a Senate, and you have people. <laughs> what we need? Right. Well, well, I think I think what brought my concern is you said that there would be a president and a vice president running together uh, from different aspects, and I like the original Constitution where the the highest one becomes president and the second highest one becomes vice president. That way, we don't get into any, any splits. And that's fine. If that's the way Congress sets it up, that's what we'll do. That's up to them, what, however they decide to do that. And uh, they very well may do that. I don't know. But that's up to Congress. I, I can't make that call. Okay. Well, I was just wondering, because that was in the original Constitution. And we look, we look uh, forward to seeing you out here in Utah, and we'll be happy to accommodate you. 
Thank you very much so, for all your work. Appreciate that. Look, look forward to meeting some of y'all in Utah. And it sounds I'm going to spend a few days out there probably when I get there. Mm, thank you. All right, we're going to be bringing on area code 727. Go ahead, you have the floor. Hi, Tim. Hello. Hi. This is Joyce in New Jersey. I Hello, wanted Joyce. to ask you um, what we can do uh, with people that are being um, – I'm trying to get somebody out of jail, except I don't really know what to do. Uh, that's a good question. I, I don't know how to answer your question. There's a lot of different factors there that would come into play. But as far as the Republic right now, we can't. We, we we don't have any authority to do that yet. So what I'm trying to get the structure in place so we will be able to do things. Um, and when that happens, we'll be able to do a lot of things. But right now, we don't have the uh, lawful authority to do that. That's what was concerning me a while back when the juries were being told to do things by some of the folks. And I kept saying, don't do that stuff or you're going to end up getting into a problem because you don't have any lawful authority. The proper protocols were not put into place to give them that authority. And that's what that was a concern that I've had ever since we started to, to get people to understand that. And that's one of the reasons for these calls is to try to bring people to an understanding of all that. Um, the juries were never called into service by authorized people. And they only get they only have authority because of we the people. No, nobody has any authority except through the people. And unless it's done by proper protocol and you can document that the people are backing your decisions, that they gave you the authority, then you don't have any. And that has to be done by proper protocols, and that's what we're trying to get everybody on board with in this call tonight. Okay. And that okay, way you don't you. have to worry about going to jail for doing something, because that's where they were headed to some of the things they were doing before. Well, they don't need a reason. You know, I mean, you know they're floating bots on warehousing well, the people, so... <laughs> Right. Yeah, you know, they don't need a reason. They just need an excuse, and they will do it if they can. But the way we're structuring this, that if we have a problem, we can go to the international level and enforce it. That's okay. why we're doing it the way we're doing it. All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your time. Okay. God bless you. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Um, we're going to bring on the next caller, Erica 352. Go ahead. You have the floor. Yes, this is uh, Gene Exum, uh, Florida. Hey, Gene. As your uh, head foreman, how y'all doing this evening? We're doing good, good Mr. Gene. How are you? Fantastic. Any better? I couldn't stand myself. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, the lady that called in uh, uh, concerning uh, getting information, uh, we do not have our ambassadors uh, registered yet. Uh, Tim, as you well know, I went ahead and appointed them uh, the day yeah. before yesterday, okay. and sent, and I, I sent that information. But if uh, she would uh, get in touch with me, I'll be glad to get the information uh, to uh, one of the ambassadors, and they can get in touch with her. Okay. Well, she needs uh, Kelby. How do they do that? You have to. Uh, take that the question is, is how do you how do you register an ambassador into the system? No, no. How does the person uh, get in touch with the ambassador? How does an ambassador get in touch? Send me an email, and um, uh, we're going to actually post. A, uh, I said it earlier, and you probably missed it. We're going to be posting all the ambassador information uh, to the website um, under the contact area so people can go and uh, look up a name and an e email address of an ambassador uh, uh, for each republic, and that way they can get a hold of anybody. Well, what, what I was saying is you do not have our ambassador's information yet. Oh, oh, oh. And this person was... Uh, yeah, you need to go ahead and send it to him, Mr. 
Okay. Uh, I've already sent the information in, uh, and, but you probably do not have it. And the lady was asking for uh, information uh, immediately, and that's the reason I'm trying to uh, uh, service, uh, give her the service that she deserves. Okay. Well, uh, we'll get we'll get that posted so she can go on the website and get that. Okay. okay Jean, Jean, Very I'm well. Send you an ambassador agreement. Um, if they haven't already filled it out and signed it and faxed it in, uh, please get they them have. to do it. They have? Okay. Okay. Do hang, that hang because on. they have not. Okay. They, they, have, they have, have not done that. So, okay. Yes, yeah, send it to me. I'm going to send it to you in about one minute so that you can have it uh, at your fingertips. Have them sign it, fax it in, and we'll get them registered into the system. Okay, sir? Fantastic. All right, Gene. Good talking with you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Gene. God bless you. You bet. Okay, we're going to bring on Eric 540. Go ahead. You have the floor. Hi, this is Michael, the uh, governor of Fort Virginia. And thank you all, gentlemen, very much for all the hard work. Had one yes. simple question. I uh, wondered if you might be able to post the remaining states that uh, need uh, attention to bring on board to make the 50. Uh, have we? Have you got that information posted anywhere, Kelby? <clears throat> this question is the remaining states that what? They need help getting uh, the, everything in place. Oh, absolutely. Um, we are just at the finishing stages of releasing a report to the entire republic as to what is needed within each specific republic state. We'll probably look for that next week, mid-next week. Um, there's only a handful that we need information on, uh, but we're going to produce that for you guys on a on a global basis. Terrific. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, any other Thank questions? You. No, I pretty well answered them Thanks, all. Sir. Thank you for the calls, and they did uh, did bring a few more things to clarity. And, well, uh, we we, we that felt that we needed to, and and I like to talk to the people and 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 hear from them too. Because that's you guys are the boss. I need to know what the boss wants. <laughs> I love that. Absolutely. All right, um, I'm going to bring on area code two six nine. Go ahead. You have the floor. Sorry, was that 269? Yes, that's you. Go ahead. Thank you very much. This is Jim. I'm the senator from Michigan. I just first want to thank you guys so very much for all you do, especially staying on the phone so late tonight. This was a great idea uh, to get the questions answered, so I greatly appreciate what you're doing. Uh, just a couple yeah, quick things. Do we have um, access to the facility in Portage? Uh, not at this time. As soon as the funding comes through, we should, but I don't have it yet. Uh, it's just a funding issue uh, is all and once we get that we will be and the, it's been a little slow in coming the corporation it, it, we thought the corporation would be gone before now but they are not they're still kicking a little bit But and until that oh, happens they'll be kicking for a little longer I think I they're wrong I think their kicks are getting less and less though, and I think they're uh, we had some very positive things happen last week, and uh, I think we're going to see a big change real soon. I think with the economic situation, uh, change is coming one way or another. So I agree completely. We yeah. need to get our act together and get our stuff handled here in a relatively short period of time. And I just was wondering, I know it's difficult for everyone with the economic situation, but perhaps we can poll all the delegates and senators to see if there's a chance we could all get together somewhere in the next couple of weeks to physically meet to take care of the business we I'd need love to get the see that. signatures. And I, I would I, love I know to see that happen. Do you think perhaps we could send something out to everybody and see if there is a place, you know, I don't know if Indianapolis might be centrally located or wherever, that we might be able to get a, a quorum of us together at least so we can actually do some of this. I think it would help tremendously if we all could get together, meet each other, work these things out, and uh, oh. have a little more faith and confidence in each other. I think it's difficult doing it over the phone. Well, yeah, I know it is, and it's very inconvenient, and I, I, I and I wish I could do differently. 